Hey guys, in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to speed up your clips or slow them down in Sony Vegas and also correct your sound when you do that and get around a flicker issue that there is with slowing your stuff down or speeding it up because there's for some there some people are getting uh, errors. I wouldn't call them errors, but when they slow their footage down, they um, they get this flickering thing. It, look, it makes everything look really, really ugly. So uh, I'll show you how to get around that as well. I have this small clip in here uh, that I'm going to drag in, which didn't happen. There we go. And um, this is pretty much on my Death Knight uh, in World of Warcraft. I think 85 on the US servers. I bought a US version of the game, but whatever. That doesn't matter. See here, I'm dinging 85. So I want that thing to be in slow motion. Uh, so I'm gonna cut the footage right here. And then until after the, the ding, there we go. And then it shows up level 85. That's what I want to do. Okay. Now we just cut those up. I do, did that by pushing S on my keyboard. See, you can see now that these lines here are really black in the middle. And I found out that's a good way to see when something's wrong. So what you do is you just click below here. So it actually gets in between these clips. Then you zoom in by scrolling upwards on your mouse wheel. And oh, what did it do? It made fade outs and fade ins on the clips. If I'd had actual commentary going on here whilst recording, that would have been bad. That could have made my voice clip or something would have not been said or something. So just drag these in again, do the same over here. You can actually see the difference, see? This is like way darker over here. So just make sure you do that every time you, you split up a clip. Okay, so now we want this part right here put into slow motion or speed it up. I'm gonna show you how, but up here, you see this button that's called auto ribble, click on that, cause you're gonna need it. Move your mouse cursor to the end of the clip. Okay, to the end of the clip, hold down control. If I drag it this way, I am still holding up, uh, holding control down by the way, like this. It would mean that in here, in between this part right here, that it would take it would be faster to go over this spot, meaning it's slow, it's speeding the, the clip up. If I drag it this way, meaning it's it's slowing it down because it takes longer to get through it, right? So making it longer, meaning it's gonna go in slow motion, making it shorter means it goes into to, uh, to high speed or what we should call that. Yeah, it's gonna speed it up. <laughs> but yeah, so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put it into slow motion. So I'll drag it about double. Doesn't this, this looks about double the amount of, yeah, double amount of um, of what it is. So it's like in, in half speed, right? But the problem about doing it this way, especially, well, now there's like sucky sound because it's just, there's nothing going on there. But let's say this would have been IRL footage or whatever else you would have been recording. Um, the audio is, is going to sound crappy. So what you do is you right click on the audio track, you go into properties and you click on this button down here that says lock to stretch. Okay. So lock to stretch, click on that. And then you click okay. And then you're all good to go. Then you fix the audio as well. So it's, I probably can't, See, you can't hear that because of that, but if there would have been someone talking, that would have sounded awful, awful if you didn't do that. So just do that and you're good to go. That is how you put things into slow motion and speed them up. Now I'm gonna show you how to get around the flickering issue there is with doing this. Cause, and there, there's another way actually how to, uh, to do this stuff as well. You can go, you can right click and go into insert, remove, uh, en envelopes or envelope and put on velocity meaning you get this green line you can double click on the line to make dots and then you can you know move them up or down or whatever 
and make curves. I don't like using this because you don't have the same control as just splitting up the clip and dragging it like that by holding down control. I'm just gonna remove all these again, like that. Um, so yeah, uh, but yeah, flickering, flickering guys. How to get around that. I actually had to use several goddamn hours to figure this stuff out. I couldn't find a single video on YouTube or anything about this, how to correct it. So I spent so many hours actually figuring it out, but I'm gonna share it with you. What you do is you right click on the video track, right? On this video part right here, you right click it, go into properties, get this window open here, right? What you're gonna do is you're gonna click reduce interlace flicker and force resample, okay? We're not done yet. You go into media, you find this part down here that says field order. It is now set to upper field first. You click on that drop down and set it to non-progressive scan. And then you click okay. And that's how you solve that problem, guys. It's that simple. So right click the video track, go into properties, check, uh, reduce interlace flicker, force resample, go into media, and uh, take this one field order from upper first field uh, upper field first to non progressive scan, and then you're good to go. Then you won't get the flickering. Keep in mind though, keep in mind, and this is important. When you do this, since this is the same clip, if I right click right here right now on this other clip right over here, go into properties. It actually hasn't done that, but I'm fairly sure she it's it's it set that into non progressive scan. So just keep that in mind that it takes the entire clip here and puts it into a non-progressive scan because you just did so. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but yeah, just keep that in mind if you have any issues with it, that it will do that to the entire clip that you just did it with. Um, it, it's not gonna enable the uh, reduce uh, interlace flicker and force resample. You have to do that manually if you want to, but yeah. Um, that's how you get around this guys. So, um, remember guys, thumbs up, comment, leave me video responses, guys, leave me video responses of all this stuff. I'll accept any video response you make of gameplay footage where you use my settings and, um, and yeah. So remember to do that and, uh, have fun, take care and see you on the next tutorial guys. Goodbye.